bottom of my heart for all of your support this month, for all of the thumbs up you've given us and the comments. I'm really, really grateful. So we have done our 30, 30 days and this is our final day of the challenge. So it's going to be a beautiful, easy flow. It's going to energize your body. It's going to make you feel amazing. And we're going to just take it nice and slowly. So I'm going to meet you at the top of the mat. Once you've got um, a drink in your hand and got something comfortable to wear, I'll meet you at the front of the mat. So standing nice and tall in our Tadasana here, squeezing our shoulder blades back towards each other, standing tall, rooting through our feet and rising up through our hips here. Palms facing forward, shoulders down from the ears. Standing proud and allowing those collarbones to smile and shining that heart space forward. So take a nice inhale here and reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, release them down by your side. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, last time, reaching through those fingers and exhaling down by your side. Taking your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers, pulling those knuckles down towards the mat, opening up your chest here. Pushing your pelvis forward, protecting the lower back. Take an inhale, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and start hinging from your hips, dropping forward into your forward fold, hanging here. Hands up as far above you, behind your back as possible, whatever feels comfortable for you though, just checking in, making sure that there's no tension in the back of the neck. So let's do a couple of yeses and noes with the, with the head. Nice, slowly release those arms, gradually just dropping everything down to the mat. Take a nice inhale, come up to your halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands on the floor and step it into your plank position. Hold one breath here. Come up onto your toes, be really rounded in the upper back. Slowly begin to bend your knees, drop your knees to the mat, cross the ankles and drop your hips down in line with your shoulders. Take an inhale through the crown. Exhale, bend those elbows and come slowly down through modified chaturanga. Release the angles. Inhale, come up to a baby cobra, squeeze the shoulder blades back towards each other. Exhale, push down to the hands, bend the knees, curl the toes. And let's pipe those hips up to the downward dog. Drop your head, spread your fingers wide, pedal feet if that feels nice, dropping that heart space down. Really connecting with the mat here, taking a big deep inhale through the length of the spine. Exhale, just sign it out. Inhale, bring that right foot up between the hands. If you need a little bit of help, Grab the ankle to bring it up. Be in this lovely lunge position here. Try and be as long as you can in your spine so you might want to come up onto your fingertips. Have a little rock here and see what it feels like. Really opening up through that hip flexor, stretching that right glute out. One more breath here. And then slowly bring the left foot up to meet the right foot coming into our forward fold again. Two breaths, take an inhale deeply. Exhale completely, just drop it all down. Inhale deeply, spreading those ribs as wide as you can. Exhale, curl the tailbone under and step back up to your mountain pose, reaching your arms wide on an inhale, scooping up that energy. And uh, exhale your hands down beside your body. Interlace your fingers the other way around now. Reaching down with those knuckles, opening the chest, smiling those collarbones open, maybe having a smile on your lips. Slowly bend your knees and exhale, dropping down into your forward fold. Allow your head to be heavy, hands come up over the back of your back. Take an inhale here, exhale, release the hands, drop it all down into that forward fold. See if you can begin to straighten the legs here, maybe pedaling them, straightening one leg at a time. Just 
checking in with the body. If it feels too much, then keep your knees as bended as you need them. Take an inhale, leave us the halfway length, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands and step it back into your plank position. Your choice of chaturanga, either drop the knees or come down in one long line through that beautiful vinyasa, slowly exhaling as you come down. Inhale into cobra, reach those shoulders away from the ears, push down on your exhale, bend your knees, curl your toes and step it into your downward dog, two breaths. Inhale, really deeply now. Exhale, release, just slide out. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to bring the left foot up. So inhale, left leg between the hands. Drop those hips down and come into this lovely long lunge. If you feel like you need to be slightly further up, come up onto your fingertips. You might get more of that lovely long line in the back of your spine here. Have a rock around. Really bring that heel back towards the mat and then come up onto the toes. Feels like you're really opening up the hips here. Spraying some WD-40 in there. So one more breath here. And then the exhale, you're going to bring that right foot up to meet the left foot and we'll meet in our forward fold. Hang here, two breaths. Inhale deeply, widening the ribs. Exhale, allow that heart space to drop down to your thighs. Inhale. And exhale. Plant your hands on the mat and we're going to step back with the right foot and drop the knee. So from here, we're going to take the weight into the right hand, reaching the left hand up for an easy twist. Plugging that left hip back into its socket. I look up through the length of the arm and look straight ahead. Keep the length of the spine nice and long. Inhale through the fingers. Exhale, drop those fingers. And then sit the bottom back by stretching out that front leg. Play, really pushing down through those toes so you get the stretch down through the back of the hamstring here and through the calf. Try and lengthen through the back so you're not rounding. Try and always glide those shoulders down your back. Nice, slow, long, deep breaths here. Inhale, bend that front knee. Curling the back toes under. Now we're going to step it into a, a low lunge. Again, take the weight to the right hand. We're coming up for another easy twist now. Reaching up through the left fingers. <sighs> Try and pull that heel, that back heel down towards the mat. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that hand down to the mat. Jump the back foot forward one step. Begin to straighten the front leg and come into pyramid pose. Look between the legs. So really feel that the head is carrying no tension. So allow gravity just to make that head nice and heavy. And begin to feel this deep stretch coming around the left glute muscle all the way down the hamstring through the calf. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release. Inhale deeply. Exhale, feel the length of those muscles getting a little bit longer, letting everything go. Really nice. Take another inhale here. And on the exhale, you're going to bring that right foot back up, step it into your forward fold and hang one breath. Really nice. Inhale. Exhale, step it back into your plank position. Hold. Inhale. Exhale, pipe the hips, down the dog, one breath. Inhale, left leg steps up. Sorry. Inhale, right leg steps up, drop the back knee. Really find that connection with the back of the foot and the left hand. Before you inhale, take the right hand up for an easy twist. Pull that right hip back into its socket, open the chest. One more breath here, inhale through the fingers. Exhale, drop that right hand and then pull those 
float that bottom back towards the heel, straighten that front leg and really push down through those five toes. Getting a stretch over the top of the foot here as well. Try to be nice and long in your back. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can drop this heart space, the lower ribs down towards that thigh, increasing the stretch.
finding that beautiful opening in the right hip. Inhale, look up. Exhale, dive down. Take your fingers. Inhale, come up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, last time. Exhale, dive it down. Place your palms on the mat. Lift the back toe, lift the back knee, and step it up to meet your other knee and come to sit on your heels. From here, we're just going to interlace the fingers behind the back, pulling those knuckles down, opening the chest like we did at the beginning of the practice. And then very slowly, we're going to come into Dandasana, so come into a seated position, bringing your feet directly in line with your hips. So from our beautiful seated Dandasana, sitting up through the length of your spine, inhaling your arms, lift above your head, and exhale, really reach through those fingers, encourage the tummy button back to the spine, lengthening through the head here, coming into a forward fold, dropping the hands to the mat, inhaling through the length of the spine, and then exhale, just drop that heart space down to the thighs, Trying to lengthen through the neck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, last time. Exhale, release everything down. Drop your forehead down to the knees. Feel that stretch coming down the back of the thighs. Bringing your chin into your chest. And maybe bending your knees slightly here, bringing your knees up to your forehead. And then very slowly, walking your hands back up, bringing your knees up to your chest, and then hugging your knees in with your arms, dropping your eyes down to your knees and just centering yourself for a couple of breaths here, breathing in through the back of the heart space, exhaling through your sit bones, just slowly bringing the breath back down to slow inhale and a slow exhale. So from here, just come into a seated position, bringing your hands into prayer and maybe closing your eyes just for a couple of seconds, bowing your head down and taking the time to congratulate, thank, be grateful to yourself for doing this 31 day practice, giving yourself the time every day to come and practice. And for those that haven't, just bringing yourself a bit of gratitude for, even if it was just the one day, the fact that you brought yourself to the mat and gave you a little bit of time away from the hectic busyness of our lives. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've really enjoyed this 31 day challenge with you. And I'd just like to sign off slowly by bringing your, heart, your hands up to your forehead, bringing your hands into, into a prayer position. Go through your day with kindness in your thoughts and bring it down to your lips. Go through your day with kindness in your words and back down to your heart centre, bowing your head, looking down into your heart space. Go through your day with kindness in your intentions, always honouring the light within you. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me. I will hopefully see you very soon on this channel, but until then, have a great day.